lovely wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if you're not. Just, you know, always super happy to have you. So uh, this is um, going to be one of the last box openings of the year. Uh, I do have a... Um, shoot. Quilt Addicts Anonymous <laughs> that I will be trying to get in before the end of the year also. But uh, that that should be it. And uh, today's is the Liberty Fabric League. I thought I had canceled this one. Um, I was kind of surprised to find this one. Um, but hey, I, you know, I probably just had paid up to, you know, <clears throat> so I had one more coming. So let's uh, let's go in. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got in this um, lovely box. Before I get into the Liberty League box, I just wanted to show you this. I found um, a new subs a new huh, quilting subscription box called the Monroe Mountain Quilt. And so I thought, well, why not? I'll give it a try. <clears throat> I would got rid of so many of them that I thought I would try it. So I get this in the mail today. A note thanking me for subscribing to is called Where Fun Begins. They're a monthly subscription bag. We send bags instead of boxes because of the high cost of printed boxes. The customer ends up paying for them. Good, good thinking. That means you get more for your money. You will also get everything needed for the project except thread, backing, and bonding materials. Monthly shipments are sent on or before the 5th. And then this little welcome note and then a little pattern. I just... I'm impressed. I mean, even really, even if everything in the box I don't or bag, I don't love. This is this is, for me. This is above and beyond, and I will remember this. This is awesome. So we need us a death cloud here, and let. Uh, uh, ooh, it sounds like there's something loose in there. Uh, I I know that I am confusing on occasion because I always say that we're is in Travis thread. But Intrepid Thread is where um, Liberty Fabric League comes out of. Uh, and I just think that Intrepid Thread is the coolest name. But if it's confusing, I apologize. Um, I, I did cancel this. And I didn't think I had another box. So I'll have to check on that. But um, let's see. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is the December box. Hello, winter. Welcome, winter, I should say. Okay, so let's see. Something to clean your iron. Same, same as came in one of the, yeah, one of the advent boxes. Magic, I remember because it's magic, magic iron cleaner. So that's always cool. Um, one and two. Oh, and then Iron Clean. This is what I use, and this is, I like this very much. No mess, no mess, no fuss. It comes off really well. Um, they're like little dryer sheets, and you, um, you put them, like, over the edge of your ironing board, like, So let's just say, like, this is the edge of your ironing board, and you kind of put it over your ironing board like this, and then you run your iron your, like this along it, and it just gets the stuff off the bottom of your iron. So that's that. The It is only one time use, at least I have not ever tried to use them more than once, but they're not messy. There's no goo or anything it just comes right off so so far we've got a clean iron that's always a good thing a uh, little house pin they came on undone from there i think little this is cute made in japan okay let's see what they say about this 
Little House pins are my favorite pins, and I have seen these adorable little heart-shaped boxes with safety pins, and I thought, yeah, that's cute, but big deal, safety pins. And then I was at market and was encouraged to try them out, and sure enough, they are amazing, as are all other Little House products. If you ever have struggles getting safety pins through the fabric, struggle no more. These things are amazing. All right. Show me how to open you. That won't take me an hour. Hang on. A few moments later. Okay, got them open. They all seem to be attached to each other, but now let's see if they're I don't know I don't think that they're any more they go through pretty easy but I don't think they're any more exciting than your average safety pin just my thoughts there except that they come in a cute thing and so okay so now we have safety pins but, and you know you never know when you're gonna need a safety pin so I'm I'm all about that. And then we've got more little house pins. This time in a little wooden box to take them with you. I have been carrying around a pin cushion, but I find it's not very practical. So this is the perfect thing to slide into the bag to go sewing. Okay. This is so cute. It appears that I just generally have trouble opening things in general. Ha 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 ha. Didn't have to go ask for help. All right, let's get these little pennies out of here. Anybody asleep yet? Jeez. I'll be back. All right, so I got it open. And you can get, I don't know, 10, 12 pins in it. Uh, and that's about it. So then I guess you just put the rest of these with the rest of your pins. They're cute little pins. So, okay, we have many sharp objects. Many sharp objects from Liberty League. Uh, I have been recently told that I should be trying these, that um, that they're like ginger cookies, and I do like ginger cookies, so this one I will not share. This one I will eat. So then there is a really cute pattern that is stuck in. I am useless, there is no question. Useless. Okay. This is the Blythe Bucket Bag. For those who enjoy alliteration. It is a literal book. Like, it is a book. Um... Super cute. It would be even cute if you chose not to do all of the embroidery work. Um, the templates are here. And then it folds down cute for taking your goods. There's all the templates. And these are pictures of... See here they just did a, um, you know, like a panel picture. This is cute. This is one of the better patterns I've seen from them. Seriously, this is this is a good pattern. Huh. Okay. Well, we know what's up next. It's fabric time. It's the fabric time. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. 
Make sure we got enough space here. Take all my sharp objects out of the way. I don't know if any of you are of the age where uh, charm bracelets were a big deal. My mother had a charm bracelet and it was a big deal to her. She would carefully curate the charms that went on that charm bracelet. And this is really cool. This is super cool fabric. Wow. <laughs> There's a pig and a mermaid and a car and a guitar and a, all Oh, you could look at this for a very long time. That's cool. Alrighty, now we've got some lilies. Um, I'm trying to identify these little, maybe they're just um, decorative things or maybe they're fish no peacocks they're peacocks so this is the head of the peacock and then this is the tail and all those are the ends of the peacock tail got it okay and this one is cute i have not definitely have not seen this one before This one is a frequent flyer. You see this one very often. This is different. It almost has a batik look to it. And it kind of has the uh, hempish also look to it, which is cool. Uh, sunflowers. Hmm, we have a map here. I like a map. I was taught very young how to read a map, so I would stop asking how much longer. So this looks to be Paris. I would guess so, judging from that. And there's the arch, and there's the Louvre, and there's the Notre Dame. Cool. Uh, directional turn or over. I'm fixating on the octopus. Octopus. An octopus and turtles and I don't know. Also bird-like objects. Pretty, 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 pretty. And the last two are extremely, um, extremely Liberty. But when you think of Liberty fabric, this is definitely what I think of. So, there we go now. All of our fabrics, sharp objects, cleaning the iron. If this is my last one for a while, yeah, I'm good with that. Really good pattern. Really good pattern. Um, there's a ton of options. I, I was looking through it and there's pictures. Sure, there is. There's pictures. There's pictures of all of the different kind of ways that you can adapt this bag. I... Good, good one. Good pattern. Everything else, eh, you know, it's okay. It's hard for me to open a box anymore and not like judge it, not just experience it. It's like, okay, did I like the fabric? Did I, is that, you know, what I, the whole, the whole judging thing.
<laughs> which we will get back to again in uh, March or April. But <clears throat> anyway, that's it for uh, the Liberty Fabric League. Hope you're all awesome. I'll see you again soon. Be well, be safe. Uh, New Year's Eve is coming. Be safe. Have fun. Be safe. <laughs> Bye.